Oh, nice. Okay, when you're catching a fish, be sure to have your drag set fairly loose so when she wants to run, they'll run. And we're gonna let that fish fight. Never reel against your drag. So I'm gonna come down close to the water. I'm keeping my rod tip up. Always keep a constant pressure on this fish. She's a pretty good sized fish, so she's gonna outpower me if my drag isn't set light. So I'm gonna lighten my drag up some more. Still keep tension on the line, and I'm gonna let her fight. When she gets tired, then that's when I'm gonna start bringing her back. So we're gonna get right down close to the water. And just keep a nice rod tip, nice and high. Keep the pressure on her so she's tiring out. If she gets a burst of energy, she's gonna run. And that's what's gonna, your drag's what's gonna help you. So my drag's a little light, so I'm gonna tighten it up. I'm gonna try to bring her over towards me. So I'm gonna change my rod direction. And she should be able to come right back around. There she comes. Okay, as you can tell, she's a little tired. Keeping my rod tip nice and high. I'm gonna let her come right towards me. She'll just come right in when she's tired. Still keeping tension. And then we're just gonna burn her up. And then we're gonna go ahead and lift the bass right in the mouth. Always hold her straight up and down. Okay, and you can see you had a nice hook set. That hook's going to be nice and tight in there. We're going to pop it right out. And we're going to set the line and the rod down behind us. So that way we have a nice clean release. So this is a big bass. She's probably a female because she's fat belly. She's probably sitting on her bed. And if you look, you see where her tail's all beat up? That's from fanning her bed. So what she's doing is she's cleaning her bed off to lay her eggs. And what I did was I saw her and threw the bait in there and all she was trying to do was grab the bait, swim away and spit it out. So I was able to hook her. So with the fish, we're keeping her nice and straight up and down. We're not putting any pressure on her. And we're gonna release her nice and gently. We're gonna have her go head first out towards the lake. And she's gonna swim off and go right back to her bed. And that's how you handle a fish. Be sure to like and subscribe. Tutorial Tuesday, I'm Doug Sloat. As always, when you're out here with friends and family at CYO, it's time well spent.